Bitcoin's built on this type of encryption called SHA-256, which is a certain type of hash that's calculated, and it's how uh, Bitcoin and, and the Bitcoin miners in the network encrypt data. And so uh, this allows me to decrypt blocks that are coming in through my pool and then um, verify them and then re-encrypt them and send them back to the blockchain, which then uh, lists them as completed verified blocks of code. The core of the mining rig is basically the mining um, computer, the computer part of it that does the processing and does the hashing. And that is done in these two um, computer boards right here. And they each have 32 chips on them. They're called ASIC miner blades and they uh, 12 watts of power pipe into each one uh, and they do all the calculations for um, solving each of these blocks. They're just connected into the network through the, these two ethernet cables which run to our router and from there I can just see the setup and the configuration and be able to uh, monitor how it's going. An important issue with this is the power because it needs a lot of very very steady power. If you have any kind of power surges the, you, you might destroy parts of your board and so I have a, um, a, basically a gaming uh, power supply. It's rated at 600 watts, which is uh, really overrated for this type of an application. But I wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to be running into any issues as far as power. Um, this connects into the boards through these Molex power splitters, um, which I've rewired with uh, higher gauge wired. It produces a lot of heat when it's working. And so I ended up getting six of these really, really high flow fans um, that's obviously pretty loud for in the, the family room of our house and so I also integrated this fan controller on this side which just allows me to turn it down during the day um, when we're going to be in here so it's not quite as loud. That's just basically the structure of the mining rig.